Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Elder Scrolls Online video. In this video, I'd like to share with you my tip and trick on how to what I do in order not to uh, waste the uh, experience scroll that you can get by different rewards, crown store, even drinks that you can buy from other like uh, guild vendors and, and stuff like that. So let's not waste some time. Jump right into it. Alright, so before I proceed with the video, I'd like to let you know that I am a beginner player. I started playing like last week, and right now I am a champion 72. And uh, this video is dedicated for those who are just starting out. So basically, if you're a veteran, you may not find the full use of this video because you already know all this stuff. Uh, but if you are an experienced player and you still decide to continue watching, could you please point out uh, some maybe additional tips and tricks down in the comments that will uh, help us new players in getting better and well leveling up faster. <laughs> uh, I will essentially uh, share the trick that I use in order to uh, get as much benefit as possible from this experience scroll, right, which I'm about to uh, initiate. And I'll show you when I initiate, why I do it like that, and what quests do I quickly do, and what afterwards do I do in order to get maximum uh, benefits out of the scroll, right? So the scroll gives 50% experience points from all sources for two hours. So this is this scroll, right? And as I mentioned, the scrolls can be obtained uh, by getting it as a reward for your level ups for from 1 to 50 I'm, I'm not quite sure which levels I think is like level 6 and I got my last one when, when I hit level 50 uh, which was yesterday <laughs> and uh, also you can get psychic potion as far as I know which gives also 50 percent experience but for 30 minutes plus perks you can increase that 30 minutes to a, a little bit longer but that's not, not the point of this video so if you are just starting out and you get the scroll don't just use it straight off the bat and and you know uh, keep it for this occasion right here so I use my experience crawl when I'm doing the daily dungeon run which gives the uh, most XP right so if you go over here and you see uh, the basically uh, it glowing purplish right and you can see the amount of XP you're getting and you would start the dungeon right and just before or during the last uh, boss fight right you would initiate the scroll to get maximum XP out of this right uh, but but before you do the daily dungeon run what I would recommend you to do is to prepare uh, some quests for submission so uh, once you've uh, basically came to your main town uh, depending on with whom you started right and uh, once you go to your uh, Fighters Guild, Mage Guild, there's going to be this guy who's going to teach you and uh, open the ability of doing uh, daily uh, crafting uh, quests, right? So you have a board over here, you pick them up, and uh, you will need to uh, craft uh, specific items or do specific things for uh, blacksmith, alchemist, clothier, enchanter, pro provisioner, woodworker, right? But there's another trick that I've uh, been doing because I've been playing ESO like a couple of years ago on PC and I'm not going to go into details why I uh, stopped playing but now that I'm on Xbox I decided to give it one more try and currently love it. So essentially what you do is these ones I've picked up yesterday. So meaning if I'm going to do my daily, daily dungeon run right now right and at the end of the boss fight which I'm going to show you in a bit I will trigger the scroll. I'll get the 50% from the boss fight, I mean from the entire daily dungeon, right? I'll come back here and I will quickly go ahead and submit all of these uh, craftings that I did at the submission point, right? But the thing is, as soon as I submit it, which I'm going to show you in this video as well, I will have the ability to retake all six quests, which are super easy to do, and submit them again. And that that will give me like good amount of XP, uh, some good amount of cash, and onwards. Besides, I also have taken uh, some of the dailies. You can mix this with other daily uh, challenges. I mean, uh, not challenges. My bad. Uh, quests. Besides, you can also mix these with other uh, kind of quests that can uh, you can pick it up right now and then submit it. Like for example, I've also did the repeatable uh, daily kind of like for the dungeon runs where we get the keys so these are I've taken these yesterday and I've 
uh, completed them yesterday, but I'm going to submit them right now. And once I submit them, you will see that I'll be able to take the new ones. But essentially, as soon as I'm done with uh, giving in the crafting uh, quests, the daily six times, and then six times again, and then I'm going to submit these ones, I will initiate uh, another activity, which is the battlegrounds, which will also give you additional more XP. It don't really matter if you win or lose. Uh, you still get the XP, and uh, well, right now since I don't have no sets, my build is not done. Whatever, I just do this once a day just to get the rewards, just to get the XP. You know, so let me show you how all of this is done and how much, uh, basically, how much I will level up in my champion points. Although I have in mind that champion point level ups are way easier than when you're leveling like from level 45 to level 50. <laughs> that, that one did just takes that. But anyway, let's go. So I'm about to initiate uh, the dungeon run. The thing is here, I started playing as a tank for a purpose of finding dungeons quickly. So healers and tanks, they can find dungeons really fast. So if you're a healer or a tank, you're in luck because you can find a dungeon super fast. If uh, a DPS character, because I already started a damage dealer character, right, as well, it took about like maybe five sometimes even more minutes in order to find a random dungeon right so if you were to be like a damage dealer uh, build then I would recommend you starting uh, the dungeon find in a location where there's a lot of uh, monsters around basically once you're done your uh, first run right on this when you when you start doing your second runs you're gonna have to be waiting right so your experience scroll is gonna be already activated right so you would just uh, kill monsters and do dungeon runs. Basically what I do is once I do all this I just do dungeon 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 right uh so I hope you got my point. Alright so this dungeon is new to me I'm not sure if this is the last boss so I'm just gonna trigger my scroll right now. Uh, I have it on the quick slot as you saw and let's see how much XP we'll get. I should have guessed that that wasn't the final boss. This guy was the final one. <laughs> so, when, when I started recording this, I was almost champion 73, uh, but it was 72. So, now we're going all the way up. Look at that 80, 81, 82, 83. Jeez. And the other good thing is that since. Uh, I haven't done this dungeon before, I still get to submit uh, another quest right now, and once I come back I'll submit those six dailies, uh, redo them, submit again, so there we go, destroy, boom. Let's see how much, man that's crazy, that's good, I love it. <laughs> And also if you ha would have had like training uh, trains on your armor, because I have different bunch of pieces because I'm just doing daily runs I'm, uh, uh, with dungeons because I want to get to champion 160 as soon as possible so I can get some good gear and finally enjoy also the storyline of this game. Uh, but I figured that getting 160 champion would be top priority so boom submit and there we go we get another Oh my god, that's good, 84, sweet, that's, so that's what, like 12 champion levels? And we're not done, since we're done here, right, we're done, yeah, we're done. So now we are gonna, oh wait, wait, wait. we're gonna leave, uh, group, oh wait, my bad, group, ah, oh, leave instance, oh, the guy's already left. Now since this is Xbox Series X, uh, the loading screens are pretty fast, so I'm not going to pause here, but this is how I used and I've done it uh, when I was like level 1. So I was doing only uh, dungeons so I can unlock like skill points, because after I hit 160, my next thing is I'm going to master all of the uh, crafting, so I want to make myself sets and stuff like that, so everything I've been saving, I've not been doing anything. So right now we're submitting Maybe these things. Did. Well done. Right, and we're getting XP and other goodies. With kind luck, your package will be on the next ship out. Lift Boom. With the legs, always the legs. Submit it. Shifting now we're going back to the main 
uh, signs where you can pick them up again because as I've mentioned uh, since I picked these up yesterday I should be able to pick them up again I've done that before and it worked so Do you know hopefully how this time yeah there you go you see they're long and blue again so I can pick them up again do them submit so you see boom and these are like super easy to do like uh, when I used to play back on PC that was years ago I can't even remember like plus two years uh, it wasn't as e easy as now because now they for example they actually navigate you and tell you what you need to do uh, like if you go over here right go ahead and creation it marks you the, the stuff that you need to implement like use in order to make what you want to make right ravage ravage boom done so that's the first one but you get the point right let me do this and I'll submit it again uh, on tape so I'll be back in a sec Alright, so I just completed all of them again. It took me very little little time. Boom. Submit again. More supplies. It seems this ship honest labor is its own reward. Is your shipment headed for Cyrodiil? No matter. We'll get it worked. I know good work when I see it. That's good work. Have no fear. I'll get your shipment where it needs it. I'll go so to the whole, after this. Like a good amount of uh, XP and stuff like that, so it's all good. And then we are going to submit the other quests. And now I'm submitting the quest for the Undaunted to I get the keys. Ha! So sticking it to Boom. And what's the pledge today? What? So I can still pick up something for today. Boom. And 107k XP. How'd that Let's go again. You'll need it. There's what's today? And there you see you can reclaim it and do it right now. But what I would do is basically run uh, random dungeons, or actually, I can actually even do this quickly. Do these three quickly. Uh, log out and log back in when the, the daily dungeon resets. So as you can see, I got a whole bunch of XP. So there we go. Uh, champion 86. I was actually thinking I'm gonna get more. By the way, there are some more dailies over here. I haven't done those to be honest, so I'm not quite sure where are those. But as I say, you can combine with other quests, like uh, do them, but don't submit them. Submit them uh, once you have the scroll. Oh, there we go. Our champion level is just going up. <laughs> champion 90. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> now it's a little bit something that I've expected. So, as I say, you can combine these with other daily activities, including your, uh, because there are some other daily activities for uh, your uh, battlegrounds. Oh, by the way, I forgot to do the battleground, man. We're not done. <laughs> and you complete this thing. Oh, man, I didn't do that bad. Look at that. All of these guys were champion at 810. <laughs> well, I didn't kill no one and I didn't die either. <laughs> Assisted someone. <laughs> oh, man, look at that. Six points. Oh, man, did that means six levels, right? It's like I should be like 96 right now. Mind blowing. And right now, the beautiful thing is, I s it, it took me around maybe like 30 minutes, meaning that I can either a uh, wait for yeah 96. There we go. Uh, I think the buffs are shown here. Yes, there we go. Increase. Yeah. So it took me. 38 minutes to all do all this right so I can now uh, one uh, exit or and just wait for the new daily daily dungeon to begin right with all other uh, events that I can redo or uh, do daily dun like do the day dungeons runs right now or activity finder as a tank I can find them very easy but I get less XP but still I uh, I get I can continue playing and I still have experience scrolls and I'm very close to getting to 160 as I want to uh, so right now I just need to v v well I personally right now I can't play because I have to go do some other stuff uh, but later on today I think I will be jumping in on board again and uh, re resuming my gameplay and just do the daily dungeon uh, things you know just dungeon 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 all the way until I get my 160 champion point because that's my current aim uh, and yeah so I feel like this is like the best way on how to get that XP rolling really fast if you don't have a lot of time to play then you can do this uh, log out and wait and because 
the experience scroll pauses while you're logged out, right? So it even says that on your uh, experience scroll. So for two hours, the timer pauses when you're offline. It resumes when you go back online. So you get the point, right? And yeah, uh, this way you can get some decent amount of levels and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, Z Clan and everybody else, thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show, and if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity, as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. I did create some new chats for our ESO activity, and I'll add up more chats in case we get more players joining our Discord. In order to get access to the chats, as always, you'll need to go uh, access to chats chat and select the icon to what chats you want to get access to. Fallout 76, you'll get access to Fallout 76. ESO, you'll get access to, fall, uh, to ESO chats. Other games, you'll get access to other game chats like single player games, etc. ESO used to be uh, in that category, but now it will have its own separate category of chats since it looks like I'm going to be playing this game a lot more. <laughs> So yeah, um, thanks all for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, you know, drill, forget to hit that like. And if you're a veteran and you know a lot about this game, if you could drop some more ideas, what this video is missing, what other tips and tricks uh, you would advise us to use in order to boost our levels and other stuff, uh, please do comment down below. Maybe I'll be able to kind of read through all your comments because I do read comments and make a separate video uh, later on based on a for new players or something, for beginners. <laughs> anyway, thanks all for watching. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. From the